بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم نبدأ محاضرة رقم ثمانية في Random Variables and Stochastic Processes رح نتكلم اليوم عن Functions that give moments Functions that give رح نشوف two types of functions ال ال النوع الأول بنسميه إحنا the characteristic echo أو the characteristic function characteristic function okay ولكل بي دي اف او لكل راندوم فاريبل له بي دي اف في له كاركترستيك فانكشن الكاركترستيك فانكشن از ديفايند از الكاركترستيك فانكشن اوف اي راندوم فاريبل اكس از ديفايند باي Phi sub x of omega. So the characteristic function has the uh, name phi or the symbol phi sub x. This represents the random variable x of omega, which is a function of omega, and it's equal to the expected value of e j omega x. Okay, so and this is defined for uh, omega between minus infinity and infinity. So it's a function of omega where omega goes from minus infinity to infinity. Uh, if we go to the expectation and the definition of the expectation, then we can say that phi of or phi sub x of omega is equal to the integration from minus infinity to infinity fx of x times the function e to the j omega x dx. So this is the, the expectation, the pdf times the, times the function inside integration from minus infinity to infinity. Okay, now if you look at this and you compare it with the Fourier transform, you can say that I can, if I have the characteristic function I, function, I can go for fx of x as the inverse with the sign reversed. So fx of x can be found, can be found by the inverse Fourier transform. With, with sine of x reversed. And we can say that f x of x equals to 1 over 2 pi integration from minus infinity to infinity phi sub x of omega e to the minus j omega x d omega okay okay, okay. Now, how do this function uh, can generate or gives moments? Let's put the phi of x again, phi sub x of omega, which is equal to the integration from minus infinity to infinity, fx of x e to the j omega x dx 
and let's find the derivative of phi of x do the derivative d by d omega for both sides so from this side you have d phi x of omega by d omega from the side here uh, we have to interchange the derivative and the integration so we can say that this is equals from minus infinity to infinity fx of x is not a function of omega the function of omega is this one this is the function of omega so its derivative is j x fx of x e to the j omega x dx okay now I'm gonna multiply both by minus j so minus j times this one so this one is minus j d phi x of omega by d omega equals to the integration of x fx of x e to the j omega x dx from minus infinity to infinity if we apply both at omega equals zero so e to the j zero so this is one and you have here minus j d phi sub x of omega by d omega applied at omega equals zero this is equals to minus infinity to infinity x f x of x dx and this is equals to m1 which is equal to x bar so x f x of x dx is the m1 function if we do the second derivative we can get m2 we do the third derivative we get m3 and so on so we can generalize our result so that we we can say that uh, m sub n the, the nth moment about the origin is equal to minus j to the power n d n phi x of omega by d omega to the power n evaluated at omega equals zero so this is our rule how to generate moments from the characteristic function and to to do this let's do the following example example consider the exponential random variable fx of x for this exponential random variable is equal to 1 over b e to the minus x minus a over b this is for x greater than or equal a 0 for x less than a okay so this is <coughs> The exponential the pdf of the exponential function uh, we will we would like to find find expected value of x of course expected value of x is m1 the expected value of x is m1 which is minus j to the power one the first derivative of the characteristic function with respect to omega evaluated at omega equals zero so I'm gonna find the uh, phi sub x of omega which is equal to the integration from a to infinity from a to infinity of 1 over v e to the minus x minus a over v times e to the j omega x dx so we have to evaluate this integration uh, doing that
So. I'm going to take the constants outside. Now you are evaluating the integral over x. So every function of x stays within the integral. The others are constants. So we have e to the a over b over b integration from a to infinity e to the minus 1 over b so you have 1 over b minus j omega times x dx the integral of this exponential give us phi so our phi x of omega is equal to e to the a over b over b times the exponential itself minus 1 over b minus j omega times x over minus 1 over b minus j omega evaluated from a up to infinity if you evaluate this you will end up with e to the j omega a over 1 minus j omega b so this is our phi x of omega please do the manipulation yourself if you apply infinity here with a minus sign so this is zero you have a minus sign and you have a minus sign down here so it's plus if you apply a here so then you have a over b with a over b and you have j omega x j omega a is what is left here and down there here you have b cancelled with b with j omega b will be the the one that you have here okay so this is our general characteristic function for the exponential so this is your our characteristic function for the exponential PDF. Any exponential PDF has this form of the characteristic function. Okay. Now, what we need here is to find the expected value of x, which is m1. So m1 is equal to minus j times d phi x of omega by d omega evaluated at omega equals zero. Okay? So first of all, we will do the derivative of the characteristic function with respect to omega, which is equal to E J omega A times J A over one minus J omega B plus J B over 1 minus j omega v, the whole thing is squared. This is the derivative. If we multiply this by minus j, so we will multiply this also by minus j, and we will evaluate this at omega equals 0. So if omega equals 0, this one is 1, this one is 0, this one is 0, so you have j is common with minus j goes out so you have this minus j with those two this one will be zero this one will be zero and this one will be one so you end up with a plus b so m1 which is equal to the expected value of x is equal to a a plus b okay so if you need to find the, the second moment, the third moment, all you have to do is to do the second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative, and so on. I'm not saying that this is an easy job to do, but sometimes this is the easiest way to do things. It's not maybe, it's not an easy job for the exponential, but sometimes it's an easy job for something else. So this is the characteristic equation. You can always uh, find it, do some uh, manipulation, and get so, so many results from the characteristic function. 
The second function that we can use to generate moments is the moment moment generating function. Moment generating function. Okay, you see, the, there was a problem because of the J. Now, if you take the generalization of the J omega, which is S, the Laplace operator, then you can find the moment generating function. And it is M sub X. So moment is M sub X is the random variable of S is the operator, and it is equal to the expected value of E to the S X. It's not J omega X. Now S is the generalization and this is also equals to integration from minus infinity to infinity f x of x e to the s x dx and now if you do the derivative you can say that m sub n is equal to d n n sub x of s by ds n evaluated at s equals zero. So you don't have to multiply by minus j to the power n as in the characteristic function because you took this characteristic, this uh, operator, the s operator, which is a generalization of the j omega, it's sigma plus j omega usually. Okay, if we take the same example, if we take the same example, uh, repeat the, the previous the previous example using the moment generating function. So we're going to repeat the previous example. So we'll find m sub x of s is equal to the integration from a to infinity. So we are using the find to, to find the expected value of the exponential random variable. It's 1 over b e to the minus x minus a over b times e to the sx dx. Do the same thing, e to the a over b over b times the integration from a to infinity e to the s minus 1 over b x dx. If you do the same with the integration, you end up with e to the a s over 1 minus b s. Okay, e to the a s minus 1 over b s. To get m1, all you have to do is do the first derivative with no multiplication by the complex quantity j or minus j. So you have d m x of s by d s evaluated at s equals zero. And this is equals to e to the a s times a one minus b s plus b over 1 minus b s squared evaluated at s equals 0. And if you apply s equals 0, e to the 0, 1. So this one is 1. This one is 0. This one is 0. So a, so this is equals a plus b again. Okay, which is the same result that we got, we got before. Okay, so this is well, some things that we need or 
you may need in your life something called moment generating function and characteristic function for a random variable. It depends mainly on the, uh, it's the expected value of a function of the random variable, not the random variable itself. So in the moment generating function, it is expected value of e to the sx. In the characteristic function is expected value of e to the j omega x. Okay, so this is one function and this is a second function and you may need them in, in your life so you can use them if you want to find moments, higher moments and so on. Okay, thank you very much and we'll see you in next lecture.